Hey guys, back with another Season 10 Riven Gameplay Guide, guys. Actually playing against the Scar in our top lane right now. You can find the full runes as well as the full build of this matchup. You can find that in the description below as well as in the comment section. So make sure to check that out. And with that being said, guys, let's actually focus on this matchup. And actually trade this guy. Oh, wow. Well, I actually got that one off me. All right. I've been seeing a lot of Scar in our top lane nowadays because there was this guy who made a video about a Scar in our Challenger player. And now you see now you see Scar in our players in like every single game. That surprises me. People actually playing Scar in our top. Alright. I'm taking the slow push right here. If he tries to go for that CS, I'm going to go all in. Yeah, he's going to go for the all in. Yeah, I mean... Yep, free combo there. He was trying to take that CS, which he shouldn't have. So we have already half-lived him. If he, okay. If he tries to go for the next CS, I'm going to all-in him again. Skarner is pretty weak in the early game, so... There we go. Unfortunately, we didn't really hit that much. I'll just keep the slow push going against this guy. It's Ivern in the jungle. Skarner and Ivern, guys. Interesting. Oh, you're not going to hit that one. Very good. You kind of want to keep playing like this all the time. Oh, Ivern is topside. I saw him. Actually, we can kill him here. Hmm. I got him. Hopefully my ignite goes through. Yeah. We got him. Thank you very much, man. That's an amazing gank. Nice. So now that we've actually got that kill, we could just push this uh, lane in entirely. Then we can go back. Nice. Skarner is not really able to do that much around the early game if Riven is playing with like a Dorm Blade and playing with ignite and stuff. That's a very good start. Okay, let's go back here. We're going to buy a secondary Doran Blade. And we're going to buy a Longsword here as well, guys. We're, go we're probably going to go for the Dead Stance Black Lever build this game. Because they have they have a lot of CC this game. If I go for a Sentriever into Dead Stance this game, they're probably going to like to... They can, they can easily take me down from 100 to 0 with all that CC, so... It's going to be a lot better if I just go for the regular build. Alright. He still doesn't have any mana. I can actually do another all-in on this guy. No. Okay. I'm just going to freeze this one. Yeah, he really tries to reset the wave here. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can hold this. Yeah, great. I'm able to hold this. So after freezing his wave, he's now forced to TP. Otherwise, it's going to fall behind too much. Very good. Get an extra auto attack. Amazing. I could actually get another full all in here. Okay, good. That was a perfect trade. I pulled my shield in between the trade here. This is pretty much how you deal with the uh, with the uh, a matchup like this one. This is pretty much how you trade. Against Garner, you can trade pretty safely considering like he's using he needs to do auto attacks in order to do like a trade on you. And if you do your combo fast enough, he won't really be able to do like auto attacks on you. That's why this matchup is kind of an easy one, especially around the uh early game. Ivern is here because I saw him walking topside. Gotta make sure that I keep this place warded. So this is the point in the game where it's becoming interesting because this is when Skarner can actually ult you on her tower and he can turn things around just by ulting you. You want to make sure that Skarner doesn't actually ult you into the tower because that's... It, 
if the tower starts focusing you, you're done. That's the only thing about this matchup. Alright, gonna back off here. Gonna relax again. Gotta make sure that Ivan is not here. Gotta keep watching the map, guys, because I'm not quite sure where Ivan is. The thing is that uh, my jungler is actually around the blue buff right now. And Ivern doesn't show up there. Which means that Ivern is most likely topside right now. Oh, I can actually try to... Pr I'm going to prove you guys that this guy is actually here. Let's see. Okay, he's not here. Well, Lux playing aggressive, so that... Okay. That might actually mean that Ivern is not here. Just based on uh, what we've seen. Good. Get actually all in them. Mm. I want to. I kind of want to try to bay him. Gotta proc his uh, bone plating right now. Okay, we can all in him. I got him. Ah! One tick! That was one single tick there. Oh man. That was one. Okay, no problem. Gonna push it in. He's gonna lose the entire wave here because he doesn't have TP anymore. So I'm gonna take while plating here and then go back. Gonna take the, the wave too before I go back. Pretty sure that he doesn't actually run this fast. Oh, he actually runs this fast. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, he's actually this fast? What? I really thought he wasn't going to be here. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Let's see, I'm not, I'm not gonna use the platings, that's fine. Gonna go back here, gonna buy a Warhammer. I'm also gonna buy a pickaxe and a ward. So like I said before, we can actually go for the Ascent Reaver build, but the thing is that they have a lot of CC in the game and they could easily 100 to zero me. So it's much better if I go for the for the classic Death Stance Black Lever build, because that gives me like a little bit of HP too, so. Okay. Ivern's around the camps. We can clearly see where he is right now. Gotta make sure that everything is warded. I'm gonna push in the next wave and then see if I can roam. Good. I would like to get like another plating, but I know for a fact that Ivern is being here right now, so I don't really want to fight them. I have about 20 CS lead right now. Already. Pretty sure that Ivan is here. Okay. Now can I actually fight him? We still have no idea where Ivan is. And without this kind of information, we aren't really able to do anything. We can fight Skarner. That's great. But if we don't know where the jungler is, we could find ourselves in like a 1v2, so... Uh, I cannot really fight him. Bottom is pushing really hard, but Ivern doesn't show up, which means that Ivern is most likely around topside right now. Like, considering, uh, how, considering how aggressive my bottom is right now. I just have to wait. Place the ward down to make sure that Ivern is not here. I can just freeze the wave in right now and just force the Skarner over here. Okay, Ivern is bottom. That means I can push. He's fighting around the dragon. I'm going to push him very hard. Oh, there. Okay, they're like doing decent. Okay. I can take another plating. 
It would be amazing if I could get another one. I'll just push out this wave. If Skarner shows up, I'll see if I can maybe see like a Joan camp so I can still push myself ahead. If he only if he shows up. Oh, he's actually dead right now. I did I didn't even notice that he was around Dragon. I just didn't notice because like all the champions were stacked up on each other. <laughs> okay, I, I, all this time I was assuming that Skarner was alive. I just didn't see him. Wow. All right. So, I already have 109 CS, he, he only has 73. I still have all the platings in my tower, and he's already lost the entire tower, which means that we roughly have a lead of about 800 gold, maybe a thousand, probably a thousand gold by now. Okay. We've got the tower, we've got all the gold lead. I'm also gonna steal some junk camps now so we can push the lead even further, guys. He's not gonna be able to take this one. He's actually freezing that one. Obviously, he can freeze as much as he wants to. I'm just gonna take all the jungle camps that I can find. By, by taking all the jungle camps, it doesn't matter if if Skarner is going to freeze the wave. It's going to get slowly pushed in it by the end of the day anyway, so. I'm going to try to kill this guy. Okay, I got him. And I get another free kill here too. We can now force this tower here too. I do have 3.1k gold, so I kind of prefer going back right now. We can actually buy some items. My farm is amazing right now. We have an, an insane lead on Skarner at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna buy a Kinder Gem. I'm gonna buy the City Boots. And there we go. I could actually sell my refillable potion right now, but I prefer I, I kind of prefer keeping it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to push the upside completely, and then we're going to try and see if we can maybe take the red buff or some more jungle camps. We're going to try to pressure topside as much as possible. Nice. Okay, keep on pushing. They want to do the hero. I prefer pushing. I need to translate that lead over to a win. And just taking the hero, that's not going to do the job here. I need to make them fall behind and I need to push myself ahead. I'm not fully focused on just getting towers. I'm just focused on putting them behind. We're getting tower here. And my towers will do the job for me. He's gonna... Yeah, nice. Gonna get this camp here too. Awesome. And I'm gonna keep repeating the same stuff. I got him. Thank you very much. Put the red buff here too. I'm gonna take this. You see that guys? I'm winning top lane and I'm putting all the pressure on top lane so that they cannot really take anything anymore. You see that you see the the thing I'm doing here? I'm I'm literally putting my everything I have into pressuring top side. And they're just, they're losing all the camps, they're losing everything here. And they're just slowly falling behind and slowly losing the game. It's not what my team's doing, it's just what I'm doing here. I'm doing everything for the team. Wow. 
No, they're not going to get me. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna get away. Yeah, I'm gone. See ya. And I can get a camp. I'm gonna live seal myself back up. Very nice. Gonna. I'm actually gonna go back to base right now. I'm gonna buy a black lever and then I'm probably gonna roll mid lane. Maybe push down some more. Create like a bigger lead here. Okay, so we've already got the top tower. We've already got the, the secondary tower. We've been stealing a bunch of uh, jungle camps. And we've been taking the red buff and stuff. And this put us so far ahead that we have about like a 70 CS lead right now. And we get this too. Awesome. Yes. And now we get this camp too. Perfect. We keep on taking the jungle camps over and over again, guys. That's all we're focusing on right now. Repeat over and over and over again. But the lead we have is already so huge. And it just gets better and better. Nah, they're not going to get me. What are you going to do? Nope. Wait, he doesn't... He do, does he actually notice that... Wait. Okay. Nice. The, uh, the cats will be spawned up very soon again. Ivern is starting to fall behind, guys. You see that? We're level 14 almost, and this guy is still level 10. We can actually stop him. No, nope, never mind. Okay, now back to farming. Good. Now we're going to take the camp here. Okay, we can take this one. And we're going to repeat the same thing all over again, guys. Okay. Got another one. Now I have to run because Skarner has ultimate right now. I think he has ultimate. So I didn't want to take the risk there. Nice, consumed by my item again. You have to dragon too, because we have too much pressure. And the, we're going to take the red buff here too. We want to make sure that Ivern doesn't actually get this red buff. You see that? He's still level 10, guys. He's still level 10. He's not getting a chance this game. Very nice. Gonna get the wave here. Skarner's top side. I wanna back off again. Gonna pretend to be AFK so that we get a free kill. No, I wish it would work. <laughs> I, I wish I wish you could just stand AFK. Hello. <laughs> oh man. We have about a 90 CS lead at the moment. And it just keeps getting better. 
Scanner is here, so I want to back off. I want don't I don't want to risk guys. Oh huh? I jumped the other way. Okay. Uh. Well, that's my Penta that's running away. <laughs> that's my Penta. Well, okay. Let's take the tower. And we can take. Oh, Skarner. Well, you see that I've been still level 10, guys. Still level 10. Nothing has changed. And it just repeats. Ivern doesn't get to farm at all anymore. This is it. He's done. And now it's over. It's GG right now because we have the Guardian's Angel right now. We're already so strong. We have 240 CS at about 23 minutes in the game. We have about 7 kills. We have made another single mistake this game. And we already have Guardian's Angel. So we're super tanky. We have a 4 level lead. How are they ever going to take me down right now? You, you get my point? They will never take me down this game. I'm in, I'm unkillable. Look at that. I'm unkillable, guys. What are they going to do? I am unkillable right now. And we have 10 kills. Let's go. Let's go mid. Let's push. Very nice. Take that. Perfect. What's Annie going to do? I'm four levels ahead this game. Yep, a Lux ultimate, no problem. When my flash is coming up again, I can just do the exact same thing all over again. What happened, Baron? They're grouping up. Oh, no problem. Oh, well, maybe I have a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've only got one. <laughs> All right. I've actually lost my perfect KDA. But that's actually no problem because look at bot lane. We're getting towers for free. So it's not too bad, I'd say. We're still getting towers despite me. Okay, making a mistake. You know, I admit it. Got Skarner. Very nice. We should actually start getting that Baron though. Okay, my final item is probably going to be Asterix. Or maybe a uh, QSS. Maybe. A QSS would not be that bad either. Considering they have like a Skarner and Ivern and stuff. A lot of CC. We'll see about it. We'll see what we need. Okay, let's go mid. My flash will be up in about 20 seconds, so I can use my flash to uh, take someone down. Ten. I don't want to risk too much. <laughs> this Lux. What you gonna do with your Q? Oh well, they're still trying pretty hard. Hmm. 
My, my team is making it, they're giving them a challenge. Okay, let's push top side right now. Let's go. Keep repeating the same stuff over and over and over again. Four level lead. Nice. Fine, we can take this tower as well. It took a while. They got no one to defend because they're focusing too much. What's she gonna do? Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything either. I got you. Thank you. Mm, my ultimate's down right now. She can't really do anything on me. Okay, take this. You see that, guys? You win top lane, you win the game. And now we're gonna back off again. This time it's the best to go bottom. They cannot really stop me at all. What are they going to do? <laughs> 1v5, let's go, dude. And wave clearing again. Just wait, just wave clearing, no problem. Okay, maybe maybe that was a bit too much. Maybe. She does no damage to me. Okay. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Uh, my second opportunity for my best kitty ends here. Okay, no problem. I can buy a Sarah Gage right now. So, even if they try to one-shot me, I still have my Sarah Gage. Hmm. Even if they have the chance. But they're, they're still surviving for quite some time. <laughs> we, we, we gotta have to get that Baron, man. We gotta have to get that Baron. We need it right now. My Jonah is not that useful either. He's like level 12 right now. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Oh. I think he's disconnecting from the game. Is that the reason why we're still playing this one? Wait. What's happening with this guy? I think we're gonna have to start finishing this game, guys, because it's not looking that good. My Joner is actually standing AFK. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna start the Baron already. Maybe we can bait them. I'll just bait them into a team fight. I got this one. Okay. 
Now we can finish. I mean, Sivert has a Guardian's Angel. I think we can finish. Or no, we can't really finish. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh man, what a game. Yep, let's take it. We're getting the dragon here too. <laughs> We're doing them at the same time. Oh man, we almost lost this one. Okay, we can take that. Is there more? I got her. Oh, what you gonna do? <laughs> Give me my penta. Thank you. Alright, this is it, man. Well, guys. Oh, wait. What? Oh. Well, guys, this is pretty much how you carry from the top lane. Pretty much uh, translate the lead over to like a massive win. This is then you can carry games pretty easily in top lane. If you can manage uh, like a massive lead, you can easily win games doesn't matter how good your team's doing anyways i guess uh, yeah this is pretty much it guys do not forget to ch uh, to subscribe to my secondary youtube channel if you want to have more guides more content for league of legends uh thank you so much for watching today and uh, i'll see you guys very soon with the next one man take care